Okay, okay. it's set here to translate for Serbian. It's uh, set in English, so... I don't think it's... Yeah. Mm? Yes, because when they ask in Serbian, ah. you will have the... Trans Marco, you have the translation for when they ask in Serbian, you know? Okay. You don't need it uh, right away, but... When they ask something, you should uh, use it. And if you need any help, of course, I can translate. Yeah. If you need uh, any help, if you don't know something in Serbian, then I'll translate okay. it. Watch, watch, watch. Veliki pozdrav svima, želimo vam dobrodošnicu na konferenciji za mediju uoči utakmice prvog kola grupne faze Lige šampiona. Znate da će Manchester City i Crvena zvezda odmeriti snage i isto tako znate da su danas pred vama šef trošnog štaba Crvene zvezde, gospodin Barak Bahar, kao i Marko Stamenić, naš futbaler. Mi ćemo odmah krenuti sa pitanjima medije i pre svega ćemo vas zamoliti da postavljate pitanja našem igraču s obzirom na to da će se on uskoro priključiti na treningu, tako da izvolite. Izvolite, da li imamo pitanje za Marka Stamenića? Izvolim, Milo. Dobro reče, Miljam Ličić, Prva televizija. Marko, delovalo je u julu da je Crvena zvezda tim koji je sprema da napravi veliki iskorak u Ligi šampiona. Međutim, posle dva poraza u domaćem šampionatu, na što nisu navikli navijači Crvene zvezde, uvukla se sumnja a sada sledi najteži mogući protivnik. Kako se suprotstaviti i kako napraviti taj novi iskorak ili novu promenu i da li je to moguće protiv jednog Manchester City? -a? Hello. Um, yeah, I, de I definitely um, I hear you and um, this is football. Um, Football is in included with a lot of ups and downs and a lot of learning. Um, we definitely learn a lot about one another and also ourselves. And we've looked hard in the mirror and I think we've we've taken the right approach in, in terms of bouncing back to, to where we were at the start um, to be able to get a, a great result tomorrow night. Dakle, Gratko Marko je odgovorio na pitanje kako je Crvena zvezda tim od koga se očekuje iskora kolegi šampiona nakon sjajnog početka ove sezone. Kaže da je futbol pun uspona i padova i da su naši igrači spremni da uče, da su dobro pogledali sebe u prethodnom periodu, imaju pravi pristup, pa će tako biti i na sutrašnjoj utakvici. Izvolite dalje sa pitanjima za Marka. Dobro reče, Dušan Olginić, Radio Televizija Srbije, Marko. Sutra igrate protiv najbolje ekipe klubske na svetu. Veliki je to izazov kako za celu ekipu, tako i za tebe. Šta očekuješ od sutrašnje utakvice? Yes, um, Man City have, have proven from last year that they are the best team in the world, that they've, they've shown that on the big stage. Um, for us personally, we look at ourselves and how we can how we can take the head, the game head on, um, how we can win this game and how we can, how we can attack them, be brave, be courageous and, and show ourselves how we can compete with the biggest teams in the world. And I, I truly believe that if we're all up for it and we're working together as a team like we've been practicing for the last two, three months, then I, I believe we can get a good result. Dakle, Marko istakao da je Manchester City dokazao da je najbolji tim na svetu, a isto tako je istakao i da futbaleri Crvene zvezde gledaju samo sebe, gledaju kako da napreduju, kako da zajedno nastupaju kao tim, da budu hrabri, naravno i kako da napadaju na utakmici svi zajedno. Izvolite. Yes. Hi Marko, a question in English. What, what realistically do you think your, your prospects are for this group? Is it... Will you see a battle for, for second place or can you possibly upset a team like Manchester City? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, fo football is very magical. Anything can happen in these games. Um, I truly believe that we're not looking for anything less than a win and, and we're, we're not going to go into a game thinking that we're going to draw or satisfied with a draw, but we are there to endeavour for a win. Um, and, and I truly believe that we, we are 
capable and we are a good enough team with amazing staff, amazing people around, our, uh, around us, they can, they can help us all the way to, to cause some upsets, like you said. Dakle, Marko, isto kao da je futbol zaista magična igra i da se futbolere Crvene zvezde svakako nadaju pobedi, ne zadovoljavaju se malim rezultatima, čak ni remijem, on je okružen dobrim i kvalitetnim ljudima kako u ekipi, tako i u stručnom štabu, pa eto imaju pravo da se nadaju i dobrom rezultatu. Da li imamo još pitanja za Marka? Izvoli. Đorđe Samojlović, očene novosti, Marko. Bio si ovde pre godinu dana sa Kopenhagenom, šta je to po tebi, šta izvaja Manchester City u odnosu na ostale ekipe i šta bi rekao, šta si rekao sa igračima u odnosu na svoje iskustvo koje si imao prošle godine sa City? You played here last year, what you told to your teammates now about the last game you played against Manchester City, is there maybe any advice? Yeah, we had many conversations about the last game and the, and the things that I personally learned and, and so did the team. I think that the most important thing was to to switch your mindset, um, to be mentally prepared for, for games like this, um, to put yourself in the shoes that you are also capable of, of causing upsets like many people have said, um, that we are, we are capable of competing with the biggest clubs in the, in the world um, because we are also a, a big club. We're, we're very capable players, very intelligent technical players and I, I think we have a, an amazing setup to, to be able to achieve, achieve great things. So. Svakako je mnogo razgovarao sa svojim saigračima, najvažnije je upravo ono kako naši igrači razmišljaju, najvažnije su mentalne pripreme da oni sebi objasne da mogu da igraju naravno protiv najjačih ekipa, svesni su da su sposobni za to jer su i sami jedna velika ekipa. Ukoliko nemamo više pitanja za Marka, njemu ćemo se zahvaliti s obzirom na to da on mora na trening. Marko, thank you so much. You can go to the training and mi možemo da nastavimo i sa pitanjima za gospodina Baraka Bahar. Thank you. Izvolite. Dole, izvali. Proveče, gospodine Barak. Dušan Albinić, Nacionalna televizija Srbije. Došao je i taj dan sutra kada vaša ekipa treba dobiti snage sa najboljom ekipom na starom kontinentu, a možda i na celoj planeti. Sigurno ste puno razgovarali sa vašim igračima oko prestojećeg suseta. Kakva su vaša očekivanja i šta će sutra biti presudno u duelu proti Manchesterom? You talked uh, a lot with your players sure, uh, before this game. It's a huge game. So what did you tell to your, to your players uh, and what can uh, maybe decide tomorrow's game? First of all, we don't have a lot of time to speak about this game because we have a game in the league and we lost. And we, it took us 24 hours to, to be said. We have rules after 24 hours. If you win, you must celebrate. And if you lose, you must be said 24 hours and then go to the, our next mission, mission, so we have two days to prepare a uh, city, but of course everybody knows this team. We have two intensive days to show the player what we need to do next game, uh, tomorrow of course, and I, I believe in my team, and we come and we play, we try to play our game tomorrow. Dakle, nisu imali futboleri Crvene zvezde mnogo vremena da pripremaju utakmice, posebno zbog meča u domaćem šampionatu. Ipak svjesni su da ih očekuje nova misija, svi znaju protiv kakvog tima igraju. Intenzivan rad je i za našeg stručnog štaba, boga mi ispred njih, s obzirom na to da ima još vremena do sutrašnje utakmice, a trener Crvene zvezde veri u svoju ekipu. Izvolite. Na to je sljeti, jes? Dobro, čuješ jedan. Još jedno, Milja Milićević. Gospodin Gvardiola je pohvalio vaš entuzijazam i hrabrost kada ste bili trener Magabija, da ste hrabro nastupili proti timova kao što je Paris Saint-Germain i da očekuje i sutra zvezdu koja se neće braniti ovde na Etihad. Da li će tako zvezda izaći i da li zvezda ide na nerešeno ili na pobedu? Mr. Guardiola said the very nice things about you as a coach of uh, Maccabi who played uh, very brave against a team like uh, PSG, so uh, he told that uh, Red Star won't be defending tomorrow. Is that true and what we can expect? Yes, I heard it. It's nice to hear it from the best coach in, uh, in the history of football for me. 
but we, with all these respects, we have game tomorrow and we need to, to, to play good and make a good result. So I don't need compliments, I need a good game. And for me, what's important is to play brave, that uh, after the game, I, I sit in my chair and I say to myself, we did everything to do a good result. I don't speak about the result, I want to see my team, a brave team, play attractive, play smart. Of course, we cannot press all the time, but we need to play our game. Dakle, svakako izuzetno prijeju reči od možda kako da naš trener kaže najboljeg trenera svih vremena. Ipak ono što mu je najbitnije jeste da sutra nakon utakmice može da sedne sam sa sobom i kaže da je njegova ekipa dala sve od sebe, da su igrali hrabro, pametno i onako kako on očekuje od njih. Izvolite. Izvolite. Can you maybe cha will you maybe change something in the defensive line since the team as Manchester City who in the last uh, 40 games has only three lost here so maybe there will be something that you will change I will not say here what I'm going to change and how I'm going to play but of course, we must be ready because we play against the best team maybe in the world. So we must make the adaptation, we must raise our level, and we know it. I believe in my team. And like I said, for me, it's important that you play like we plan. We have a good plan for the game, and I hope we, we have a good day for all the team. Of course, we need Manchester City to have a bad days and a little luck also. Dakle, neće sada govoriti o tome šta će promijeniti trener Crvene zvezde, ono što je istina jeste da naša ekipa mora da se pripremi, da podigne svoj nivo, da igraju po planu kako su oni to zamisli i naravno neophodno je Crvena zvezda ima dobar, ah, Manchester City loš dan uz malo sreće za našu ekipu. Nikola Stamenić, Sport klub. Kako se uklopio novi štoper Džiga i može li da se očekuje možda u startno ih 11.? Can we maybe expect a new player, Rajiga, to play and how he get along with the players? So you will see tomorrow who we're going to play. Of course, he just came, but in the training I saw a very good player with confidence. We brought him to, to play and we think for tomorrow if he will play or not. Dakle, vidjet ćemo sutra da li će Ziga nastupati. Tek je došao, ali dobro su klopio sa saigračima i ima visoko samopouzdanje, a sutra ćemo eto na terenu moći da vidimo da li će on da igra ili ne. Ukoliko nemamo više pitanja za našeg trenera, hvala vam najlepše što ste bili. Hvala da ti ne prosljedite u beginu. Hmm? Well, it's just that's getting a little bit of a